This is an electrolysis type parts cleaner. Here are some castings, which you've got some rust on them. And this is what they look like when they're cleaned up. Simply a plastic bucket, a set of anodes welded together, simple water, and lye crystals. I use about two capfuls worth of lye crystals mixed into the water. The water's dirty because I've already been cleaning some parts. But we'll take our metal basket that I've used. I normally just tie a piece of wire to the parts, but with so many small parts I'm going to try this metal basket. Be careful with this lye because it is corrosive. negative lead goes to the wire that are hooked to the parts. Positive cable goes to the anodes on the outside. And as soon as we make contact, it's starting to bubble. And it's the bubbling agitation is what really helps clean the parts. It cleans inside and out all the nooks and crannies. I also run a battery charger. Bring the amps up. Twenty-five or thirty amps. Depends on how much surface area you have how many amps it will actually pull. We'll see how this basket works out, but as you can see when the parts are properly wired together they come up perfectly clean. You have to wash them off with a power washer and then blow them dry and then wipe them down with penetrating oil or else they'll rust almost instantly because they're so clean. You have to be careful because this produces pure hydrogen so don't have open flame anywhere near this when it's running. Pretty simple machine you can let it sit there and run for hours on end you don't even have to watch after it. I usually let them cook for three or four hours then clean them off and see if it needs any more cleaning. Some automatic battery chargers will work by themselves and you won't need a battery in between. But this is an older battery charger and it won't sense polarity and won't start to charge. So I use a battery in between.